So today's question is which one of these two lenses is sharpest at 16 millimeters? I've got the Fujifilm 16 to 80, which is their one of their newest lenses, and I've got the Fujifilm 10 to 24, and I'm going to compare the two, take the same shot with both, and see which one of these is sharpest at 16 millimeters. So let's go find out. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to claim this is a very scientific test, but it's more a, a kind of a, a comparison for the eye. Because actually when it comes to it, it's people looking at your pictures that will kind of decide whether these things are relevant or not. And I have a hunch, this is my own feeling, my own feeling is people generally don't care about this kind of thing when it comes to the people who look at your pictures. We care about it because we want the sharpest images, we want the best quality images and that's a good thing to, you know, to want those kinds of things. But actually when it comes down to it, people I think generally look at the mood of a picture, they look at the light, they look at the composition, they're the things that really do draw you into a photo, not whether it's really sharp at the edge. Unless you're printing it massive and you get very close to it, then obviously then you might start to notice that. But even then, I'm not completely sure. You know, people will know people will really be that um, interested. Anyway, so having looked at both the images, and I'll put them on the um, the uh, video now for you as well, so you can see the 10 to 24 is sharper at the very edge. There's no question. The 16 to 80 is perfectly fine but it so, just gets softer towards the edges, whereas the 10 to 24 um, stays much sharper um, towards the edges. They're both really sharp in the middle. They're both really sharp all the way to kind of, you know, seven eighths out of the frame. And then towards the very edges then at 16 millimeter, the um, 16 to 80 is definitely softer um, at the edge. Personally for me, if I was making a decision between do I buy the 16 to 80 or the 10 to 24 and I, if I was going to use it for just interior photography then I would obviously be going for the 10 to 24 because firstly I want the width down to 10 but secondly I want that super sharp edges but if I was buying it for say video work then I would buy the 16 to 80 because it's perfectly fine at, at, at 16. You know, you're gonna do that for video, totally fine. You're gonna use it for travel photography, completely fine. You wouldn't even notice it. It's only if you are gonna pixel peep and you are gonna you know, be like blowing up these pictures and wanting to look at the very edges, then you are gonna notice um, the fact that it's a bit softer towards the edge. But for me, it's not an issue. I would be perfectly happy. Um, with the uh, the edges of the 16, but if you're going to pixel peep, then definitely the 10 to 24 is sharper at the edges of the frame, no question. 
So hope this is helpful to you if you're thinking about buying these lenses. My advice, and I would suggest, don't make the decision on edge sharpness unless you are you know, doing interior photography or things which definitely, definitely, desperately need that edge to edge sharpness. I would say most of the time, make it on what is your most convenient focal length because these images are gonna be looked at on mood, composition, lighting, those kinds of things. They're not gonna be judged on the edge of your frame. Um, but obviously it's your decision. Um, I can only say what, what I would do and uh, how I would make my decision. Hope it's helpful. Do subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed. Please hit the like button because it really helps me. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.